A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my ABC. Next time, won't you sing with me? Hi, everyone. Welcome to another version of story time. Yay! Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. It's nice to see you here. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. It's nice to see you here. Hi. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish in the Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let him go again. Why did he let him go? Does he pick my finger so? Which finger did he bite? This little finger on my right. Hi. Today's story time will be Little Clouds and Lady Wind. Clouds scattered in the sky. The biggest one said, Come here, all of you. There is no strength in being alone. We clouds have to stick together. If we want to be strong and we want to terrify the earth with storm and thunder. The clouds gathered together, all but one. This little cloud drifted all by herself, not wanting to blend in and lose her freedom, not wanting to fight in the earth, she found a quiet place in the sky. Nice as it was her home in the sky, little cloud was lonely. She lived it, she liked being free but felt sad, thinking that all she would ever be was a cloud, soft, drifting, and helpless. From the high place her home in the sky, she would see such beautiful things down below. Purple mountains with scarves of snow, Valleys full of bright flowers and tall green grass, silver waves rippling over oceans or over changing colors. Little Cloud loved the earth and did not want to join the other clouds to scare her. If I could only walk, she said, or lie down, or swim, I'm tired of drifting. I want to touch the earth. I want to skip in the snow. I want to lie down with valley flowers. I want to play in the silver top leaves. Night came and little cloud fell asleep dreaming of what it would be like to live and play on the earth. Suddenly she felt a push, then another, then another, until she was wide awake. Who are you? she asked. I'm Lady Wind. I've seen your dreams. Come with me. I can help you. The Lady Wind reached out and took Little Cloud in her arms. Together they raced across the sky. Suddenly, a huge mass of dark clouds appeared, followed by a loud crack of thunder. The ocean leaped and the trees in the valley bent low. I am afraid, cried Little Cloud. Don't be, said Lady Wind. Hang on. All night they flew, chased by the thunder clouds. They dodged knives of lightning, bumped into mountain tops, poking through the dark, jumped over ocean waves, reaching to grab them. Little Cloud held on tight and tucked her head as best as she could into Baby's wind arm. Finally, frightened and too tired to help herself, she fell asleep in Baby's wind arm. It was morning when Lady Wind woke up Lady Cloud. There's a cloud. Look, she said, look down. Little Cloud looked, and she saw tiny pearls falling from her face. What is this? she asked. We call it you, said Lady Wind. Little Cloud looked again and saw a necklace of many clouds stretching from her face in the sky to the ground. 
What is that? Asked his father. We call it rainbow, said Lady Lynn. Little Cloud looked again and saw a trail of baby clouds just like it floating over the waves. What is that? she asked. We call it rest, said Lady Lynn. Oh, said Little Cloud, now I see. I can be me and part of something too. I am too touching the earth. I am Rainbow lying in the valley. I am Miss playing over the ocean. Thank you, Lady Rain. I am me and all the things I dreamed of. Thank you guys for listening. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. I'll see you again next time. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. I'll see you again next time. Bye.